Author Peter Schweitzer calls the Clinton blur, a mix of money and politics, diplomacy and personal interest, all so interconnected that it's pretty easy to get lost. From lucrative reconstruction deals given to Clinton friends and donors after the earthquake in Haiti, to $500 and $750,000 speeches for Bill Clinton paid for by countries or foreign companies with some action or policy in front of his then Secretary of State wife. To a major uranium mining deal for Clinton friend Frank Joustra, a deal with the country of Kazakhstan that is finalized during a Joustra trip with former President Clinton. And then soon after that, Bill Clinton got a huge donation, $31 million from Frank Joustra uh, to his charitable foundation, followed by an, uh, a pledge to uh, donate $100 million more. The company became Uranium One and was eventually sold to a Russian company that is essentially controlled by Vladimir Putin. They now also control more than 20% of American uranium. Officials with Uranium One and investors who profited from that deal donated more than $140 million to the Clinton Foundation. But millions of dollars of those donations were never disclosed, flying in the face of a deal the Clintons struck with the Obama administration. Again, all of this does not fit on a bumper sticker. But from the book and various media organizations like the New York Times, the Washington Post, and Fox News, connecting some of the dots here, most political watchers will tell you this is, at best for Hillary Clinton, a serious political issue for her campaign. Chris? Brett, thank you. Now, let's bring in the man whose team spent 10 years on the Clinton money trail, Peter Schweitzer, author of Clinton Cash. And welcome to Fox News Sunday. Thanks for having me, Chris. Let's start with the phrase that Brett mentioned that you use in the book, uh, the Clinton blur, the mix of, of private and public, of charity and government action. What's your point? Uh, the point is basically when former President Clinton uh, travels the world, which he does extensively, he spends time in the developing world in Europe. When he goes there, he's usually wearing several hats. Uh, 